Hello, I'm Danny and welcome to BHP Bikes. Today I'm riding the BMW GSA 1200. I've literally done about five miles on it. It handles beautifully, it leans great, um, but one thing that's really annoying me is the dash. What the hell? Analog clocks, speedo that's tiny. Yeah, I don't really like that, and it just it just feels feels a little bit dated, to be fair. Um, but anyway, it's all about the ride today, so I'm going to quite enjoy caning it through some lanes. I'm heading back to some home turf so that I can see. Um, basically what this bike can do uh, on roads that I know basically it's the best way to road test it um, so yeah stick around and I'll catch up with you in a bit I hit the limiter in two maybe three gears I, I, if I'm hitting the limiter on the demo run I just don't think it's just, it's just not there it's obviously not doing enough if you want more it's not doing enough is it um, which is disappointing. I am, I am actually really disappointed today. I'm, I kind of thought I was going to go into BMW, come home really excited. Saturday turn up, put a deposit down, be walking away with one. No, I don't. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> you know, the gear changes are lovely and smooth. You know, they're not too clunky. It goes through, it handles the bends fine. I just think it's not going to excite me enough. You know, this is the kind of bike I want to keep for a long time. This would be, you know, my tour bike. This is the one I'll be using when I go down to Monaco and I've got Austrian trip plan maybe next year and a few other things. You know, it's a bike that I don't tend to, you know, I want to keep. You know, this is my touring bike and then maybe have something else in the garage. It's a little bit more fun and lively. But on tours I want the liveliness as well. I kind of need an all-round bike and I'm just not quite sure if this is it. I feel those bends are fine, it handles beautifully. And also the fact that my legs are absolutely killing me. I want to gonna have to stop in a bit and have a rest and uh, have a stretch out which is not good seeing as I'm not even out of West Sussex yet. So I've been out riding now for about an hour on the BMW GSA 1200 and it's a good bike. I've enjoyed it. I mean through the bends it's fantastic. I've enjoyed how it handles and, but I'm just a little bit disappointed in the lack of power really. Um, it's not been fantastic on that front. And also I'm finding it really, really uncomfortable. I'm quite a tall chap but the angle where my knees are, well the, the knee bent angle, I'm struggling with it. I needed to stop and I've only been riding an hour or so, so that's not so good. Um, but anyway, let me go and show you around the bike and uh, we can go from there. The pannier rack system um, looks awesome. It's very robust. Um, it's made out of stainless steel, TIG welded. It looks pretty good. A lot of thought has gone into the design of it. Um, I mean, in fact, all the crash bars look very well made. I kind of would have liked to have seen the kind of men caps. I don't know, it just kind of looks a little bit... I don't know. There's a couple of things on it I'm like, hmm. Because the seat's in high mode, look at the gaps down there. It's just not, it's not very well finished for a 17 grand bike. I'm going to get hated for this. Absolutely hated, but yeah, no, I, I don't like those gaps. That needs to be kind of tidied up a little bit better. I mean, the seat fits perfectly with the pillion seat and whatnot, but generally that gap there would annoy the crap out of me. 
but yeah it's it's a good looking bike it's very aggressive it's very wide it's it's uh, it's, 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 it's it's awesome but just not ticking the boxes for me it's there's a couple of things i've noticed while driving it and that's the dash and i'll show you the dash in a minute but the dash is not it's a little bit dated analog and i'm hunting around for my speed and it's just not it's just not modern enough and things like self-cancelling indicators, well, they've not self-cancelled on me yet. Maybe it's a setting, maybe it's not. But still, I kind of want them on there. Um, I've put it in dynamic mode, and that's been a lot more fun, especially through the bends. I've put it on dynamic mode and also toughen, stiffened the suspension up. And that's made it a very nice bike to ride. Don't get me wrong, it's, you know, it's just not, not got enough power. I've hit the rev limiter three times now, and that, to me, just shows that I'm obviously looking for something that isn't available. Okay, so this is your dashboard. This is the layout. So you have your speedo here, your rev counter here, your gear, um, all the time, 135, your range, and I've also now managed to set the speed to be displayed down there as well because I can't see that. That's, that's too blooming small for me. Um, and you've got your sat nav mount up here. You can adjust the screen here, your height with a big knob you can twist. Obviously, a keyless entry thingy there, like you would a car. Um, and now this is where you get complicated. Um, got lots of buttons that do a lot of things. So you've got heated grips button here, you've got your mode, and now with the mode you've got dynamic, which I'll just change down there, dynamic, enduro, which is like your off-road mode, rain, which reduces all the power and the torque and the throttle responsiveness down, then you've got um, road, and then you've got dynamic, which I'm going to leave it in dynamic because that's, that's the one I'm most enjoying. This side over here, you have all your um, controls for like your trip info, your indicators, you also have your ABS settings, your suspension settings, you can change them to soft, hard, whatever. You also have your cruise control, your fog lights, and your hazard lights. fantastic bike and the resale of them they don't lose money which is even another bonus um, but yeah so I think I think that's about all I can talk to you about really you, the best thing you can do with one of these is to drive one um, and get stuck in and enjoy it I mean you can watch all my reviews you can watch everyone else's reviews and first rides but the reality is it's completely down to the individual rider filming these videos um, it's been exciting I love the fact I get to ride all sorts of different bikes um, so make sure you do stick around subscribe to my channel that'd be really awesome leave your comments below I don't care whether you like me hate me think I'm ugly think I'm gorgeous whichever way please make sure you leave a comment below give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down I don't care but either which way stick around enjoy the videos and I'm gonna go and take this BMW GSA back to Chandler's and that's where we'll uh, end the video there. So I'm back at Chandler's in uh, Worthing, Brighton branch, um, just dropping it back. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch up with you all in the next video. See you soon, bye. Good afternoon, and welcome to BHP Bikes. Today I'm riding the Yamaha MT-10, and if you follow me on uh, social media, then you'll know that I am a massive, massive fan of this bike. Um, I'm quite shocked that it's taken me this long to get a ride on it, and that's purely because I've been on lots of tours, and the weather's... Uh, yesterday we left Mulhouse, and we had half an hour drive to come to this place called Eccleshine, which is quite nice. I'll put some more pictures in, in the video. Um, so yeah, it was only a half an hour drive, so we didn't really see any point in vlogging it, because it was quite boring driving, so we're now in France. 